up y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chantel's World. That dick like a stolen car. I got the best pussy that you had thus far. Which bitch you know going hard is me. I'm a ride or die and I don't need the key. Emergency crews are dealing with about 40 collapsed buildings. CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli shows us what happened. So you guys know from my introduction video and my moving from state to state video that I live in Nashville and recently, um, a few days ago, it was a tornado in the middle of the city. Um, it is really a, a tragedy what happened. Um, 25 people were killed and 140 buildings were basically shredded into pieces. Um, although my apartment, I wasn't affected. Um, I do have one best friend out here. Her name is Kiki. She does have a YouTube channel. I'll make sure to put her channel somewhere up here or in the description below. Um, my poor friend, we came out here together um, for college and to just explore Nashville and build our own. And um, this was her first apartment, you guys, fully furnished, very nice. Um, she lost everything. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up of her apartment complex. Um, but yeah, they were forced to move out because it wasn't good living conditions and she was forced to go back home to Chicago. Um, you guys, it has been such a long week just watching the city itself watching all those people that lost their homes i mean literally there are people's houses that were shredded to pieces i'm talking about no roof on the house no walls on the house no house at all we have some houses even thrown um a few blocks away from where it was and then you had flying cars Nashville station WTBF saw the damage firsthand. Crushed cars filled the streets, and Whit Laxon's car was smashed by a fallen sign. I think I'm lucky to be alive, and I've got a lot to process. Oh my God! The tornado filled the sky as it churned across Tennessee's state capital just before 1 a.m. Lightning and power surges were visible leaving tens of thousands without electricity and many people without roofs over their heads. Now, me personally, I was asleep through this, and that is what this scare you guys. This tornado came in the middle of the night. It came about like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. The majority of people were asleep in their homes, you know, in the comfort of their homes, in their beds, sleep, chilling, y'all, just... And then for the people that were out driving, it was pitch black outside and a rainstorm. So, and like I said, it's 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Who would have seen the tornado coming? You know, that's very, very scary. Um, you guys, in this video, I did go ahead and include some news clips um, of real people telling you what's going on and just hearing the news this point of it. it. It was scary, very scary. I just prayed. I came out earlier and I looked at the sky, it was white. It was so quiet. And something said, something is coming. And I went back in, watched TV for a while, turned it on five, said a tornado hit channel five, ran in my hall closet where the, how wild the heater was. The whole building was shaking, windows. I had to literally pull the door close. And I did this for like, an hour seemed like maybe less than 15 minutes but seemed like hours you know and just praying and just praying for neighbors and everyone and when i came out they knocked the neighborhood watch knocked at the door at two to check and see where everyone okay and i said yeah i'm fine praise god and when i come out and i literally look at all of this i said oh my god it's just devastating um, it was really scary just knowing that I, I slept through it. Bay was up. He was actually holding me um, because he was so scared, you know, that something was going to happen at our place. 
with my poor, poor friend, Kiara, AKA Kiki. I'm just devastated that she lost everything and that she has to go back to Chicago. Here, but now these folks are racing against the clock with pressure from the property managers to get everything out by dark. We're angry. We're lost. We don't know what to do. Everybody is just kind of scrambling. They're really rushing us to get out of here. Less than 24 hours ago, residents of the Meridian at Hermitage tell us they were told they had to be out by dark. They haven't even given us time to process what has even happened. We're just automatically thrown into this fight or flight of scrambling to get all of our stuff. With this 24 hour timeline, I've already taken off two days of work. U-Hauls are running out. Storage is limited. Um, it's, it's really, really tough. Elmington Property Management sent out this email around 8.30 Wednesday night saying the apartment complex is no longer habitable and residents need to get everything out ASAP. I'm so sad I have to lose my friend, but her apartment is completely total. She said there was a car on the third floor. She even said um, there were some people that were um, in her apartment complex when everybody came out to check everything that it was this girl and her boyfriend and they basically came out naked because they didn't have time to grab anything. They basically, the girl basically looked up and saw her walls moving, her walls moving and had to immediately grab her boyfriend and run. And by the time they got out, the ceiling collapsed. Can you imagine? And then as far as my friend Kiki, she basically was telling me that um, it happened so fast that by the time she told her boyfriend something was happening and they put the cover over their heads, that it was gone. I mean, like so much damage happened so fast in the city. Um, but please pray for the people um, that lost their families, those 25 people that were killed. And they're still actually finding more people that were involved with the tornado. Um, and all those people, it is like hundreds of people in Nashville right now that are homeless because they lost their homes and apartments. And just think about the people that don't have a home to go back to and, you know, things like that. It's very, very scary. Um, a lot of people still don't have power, water. Um, it's really messed up. Our electric company, NES, has sent out several letters just letting people know. We understand your power is off and all the things like that. It, it's just really sad. Um, but, yeah. Definitely like, comment, and share this video. I definitely just wanted to share that experience with you. Just letting you guys know I do live in Nashville, but it barely just missed us. We thought it was, well, I thought it was just a rainstorm. I kept hearing sirens in my sleep, and it was annoying me. So I just woke up like, what the hell is that? But come to find out, it's a real life tornado, and it could have killed us all. Honestly, by the grace of God, we are all still here. Um, but I did want to go ahead and share that story with you guys. Just letting you guys know, pray for Nashville. Um, if there's anybody that lives out here that you know, please check on them and check on their mentality as well as their well-being. Um, but thank you guys for watching. <coughs> I don't know what that was. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely like, comment, and share this video. Um, and comment if you're in Nashville and you were affected as well. Um, so definitely subscribe. Did I mention subscribe? And let everybody else know to subscribe too. Thanks guys for watching. I'm out.